Hello chess friends and welcome to Yozarov's chess channel and welcome to my best chess games of all time series. So in this series we see the best of the best, the best chess games that have been ever played in chess history. So today it's time for another. Today I wanted to show you a very very strong game by the legendary Boris Gelfand and Boris Gelfand the former world championship challenger. So here he played against Badur Yobava and Badur Yobava he is really an interesting guy in chess. I would call him the Tal of these, these days because he plays really this uh, tactical chess. He plays uh, only tactical chess and uh, he is one of the rare players that uh, are playing this style. And his games of course are never boring. So, but uh, in this game he was on the losing side and uh, because Boris Gelfand of course also a strong tactician he found a very very nice idea in the middle game and let's see now this immortal game by Boris Gelfand. So we have here d4 and uh, knight on f6 by uh, Yobava, c4 and e6 uh, the Nimtso Indian defense and now knight on f3 this uh, anti in Nimtso Indian with uh, knight on f3 I've explained it a couple of times in my previous videos after bishop on b4 which is the main idea to play knight uh, uh, knight from b to d2 and avoiding this uh, doubling pawns here on c3 so now uh, Yobava transposed in sort of a Benoni style with c5 uh, we have of course d5 e takes d5 and uh, c takes d5 uh, g6 uh, uh, Yobava avoids uh, here this uh, move d6 so far he wants to play uh, faster on the development uh, d6 uh, by white uh, doesn't bring so much it uh, could gain some space but you have ideas maybe with queen on b6 to attack this uh, d6 of course uh, and uh, try try to take it because this would be of course an annoying pawn and you want don't don't want to have them here on on the sixth track so here uh, Gelfand plays, plays simply this healthy chest, knight on c3, maybe pre with preparations to play uh, e4, and now bishop on g7, and uh, here bishop on f4. Uh, d6 now finally by Obama and he, this is uh, I think a very very nice setup against the Benoni defense which you can see now by, played by Boris Gelfand and I want, really want you to memorize it uh, if you have troubles maybe to play against uh, the Benoni. Uh, I recommend some other in my chess uh, chess videos in, uh, while playing d4 here in my uh, reproduction list but uh, of course this is this is also a very very strong idea with the move queen on a4. Uh, queen on a4 uh, has this double function of course uh, we want to uh, attack the king but the more important thing is that we want uh, white to bring something in between here maybe the knight or the bishop and in order to prevent uh, the queen here from the defending uh, of this d6 pawn and here Yobava answered with uh, bishop on d7 and now uh, queen on b6 b3 attacking this pawn on on uh, b7 and also this d6 this is still common theory and this this is uh, you may think black has done something wrong here by losing a pawn but it's really uh, in, in a well-known um, line in the Benoni and it's the most aggressive line and if you maybe uh, want to play some blitz or bullet games in this line tried out maybe you you will have success but this is really one of the most complex Benoni lines that I've ever seen so uh, if you if you don't want to play it uh, like this uh, simply avoid it but you see now uh, Yobaba is in his territory he wants to play these tactical games uh, with this ideas to maybe give up a pawn or two just to create an attack and uh, of course that's his style and he wants to play play this this kind of game so here uh, uh, b5 by Obama was played uh, well knight takes on b5 is an idea again with the uh, here on this with an attack on d6 but it leads really to simplification because here after bishop takes on b5 queen takes on b5 and uh, knight on d7 uh, you can play maybe uh, bishop on d6 but now knight on e4 can be played with an attack on the bishop so here bishop on e4 and after casting you see uh, Black uh, has uh, a fast development here. Uh, you see, White uh, needs three more moves with maybe e3, uh, bishop on e2, and uh, 
then after uh, here this casting so three moves uh, to secure his king and meanwhile black can play uh, ideas here with rook on b8 and attack here this b2 pawn uh, so this uh, this of course uh, uh, Boris Gerfan didn't want to play this kind of a uh, complex line. He simply took out first here uh, the pawn on d6. So here queen on b6, and now this is now this uh, style of Yobava. He gave up a pawn, but uh, he is now on the attack, and uh, here bishop on e5 by by Gerfan. We are creating here sort of a positional pin because in the Benoni this uh, uh, bishop is always dangerous. Uh, piling, up, piling up here on this very strong diagonal so uh, here with bishop on e5 we're creating this positional pin we want to trade off the bishops and simplify the position with the pawn up and possibilities to play e4 and then maybe e5 to gain a very nice central control so uh, of course Yubava uh, doesn't want uh, to uh, doesn't want to go into simplifications See, he plays another aggressive move after castling here uh, e3 and now of course c4 so he, black has secured his king and now he can play on the attack uh, c, and now queen on d1 which is i think uh, of course a good move you see queen on c2 uh, well then you get bishop to f5 so this is the problem you cannot play bishop on d3 here because uh, black has gained some uh, control here on the queen side and uh, although white's a pawn up he has to be careful and now uh, knight on a6 so you see uh, Yobava's idea is to play knight on uh, knight on b4 or may and then after that knight on d3 or on c2 with the support uh, of the bishop here on f5 uh, this pawn although it's on the fifth rank it's uh, not so mobile it cannot progress so far because it's hard to push pawns now here you have to secure uh, of course first your king so that's the problem and now a4 very very nice idea by by Gelfand because after uh, b4 he can uh, really jump here on uh, uh, with the knight on b5 and uh, maybe uh, force black to trade uh, the strong bishop against this knight and really of course simplify the position as i said then after that uh, with some ideas to play maybe bishop on bishop on d4 so this is uh, now very very nice idea here to block this attack on the, on the queen side here we have of course knight on b4 with the same idea and uh, uh we have a takes b5 now bishop on f5 and now uh, we have a bishop takes on c4 so knight on c2 uh isn't so good for for black because uh, you can simply play king on e2 and after taking the rook you see uh, although uh, black is up the exchange but you see this is uh, these are very two uh, very strong pawns here on d5 uh, and b5 of course we can also uh, play here b3 to really fix the position and then after that we can bring bring the rook on the d file and go forward with this pawn and as i said again we have this positional pin so there's no way to to kick away this bishop from uh, e5 and you can also play with improvement of of the position of the of the bishop by playing bishop on d4 so this is not uh, a good line for uh, for uh, for black so that's why after bishop on c4 rook from f to c equals played now of course with an attack to, on the bishop and uh, here uh, gelfand plays very nice defensively uh, b3 and now knight on g4 so now uh, yobava's idea is uh, to play maybe knight on uh, c2 it's not uh, it's not the point that we want to take the rook on on a1 uh, the problem is that we want to after knight on c2 to occupy maybe this e3 so uh, here after bishop on g7 uh, well uh, knight on c2 was played and uh, if you maybe uh, go away with your king on f1 you see you get king on g7 and uh, now maybe the rook has to play somewhere and we have this uh, idea to sacrifice the knight and reloaded and after that with this uh, double attack on on the king on the, and the queen with the fork and uh, this is the position i think in which uh, yobaba would play really well but now after uh, knight on c2 well 
well, Boris Gelson finds a very, very strong move, very nice idea. He takes, sacrifice the queen for the knight, queen takes on c2. And I've, I've never seen uh, such a sacrifice in that uh, kind of stage, because you see white uh, hasn't castled so far, so of course Yobaba took uh, the queen on c2. Now bishop on d4 with the tempo on the queen. So of course black has to react and he played uh, queen on d8 and uh, uh, what have we done here so of course you see we have now um, three pawns and two pieces for the queen but the problem really for black is here that he doesn't have a clear plan how to attack uh, white's king uh, the coordination of the pieces is not so good uh, uh, black has also given up here the, the dark square bishop on g7 you see this bishop is uh, very very well placed with its very nice uh, control uh, control of these two diagonals so of course this is a very very strong bishop and there's no way uh, really to attack the bishop here on d4 you cannot uh, kick it away some uh, somehow and uh, we have possibilities uh, of an improvement of the position by playing simply e4 and uh, of course if you take out maybe this annoying bishop on uh, c4 well then you get uh, uh, b takes uh, c4 and again we build a very very nice uh, pawn structure in on on the queen side so uh, very annoying position for black to play against now and here uh, white uh, simply cast so uh, he secured this king and now we can play simply on on the pawns and gain some space so here queen on e7 was played and now rook from f to c1 attacking the bishop and now uh bishop f5 uh e4 uh you see you cannot take uh, bishop on e4 because you get the pin here on the uh, queen so if you try maybe something as f5 to support the bishop you'll get a uh, very very annoying move d6 so with an attack uh, on the queen with a check after rook takes on c4 you simply uh, take out the queen of course this is an uh, this is a uh, winning game for white so here after e4 uh, bishop on d7 was played and now h3 now uh, gelfan plays on simply attacks uh, with the simple attacks he gets uh, more space a uh, knight on f6 and now you see uh, d6 if you take the with the queen you get an e5 uh, again uh, take another piece so that's why here after d6 uh, queen on um, d8 was played and now e5 again gaining even some more space uh, the knight doesn't have good squares you see uh yobaba played knight on h5 and now knight on d d5 so you see uh, we have here again the possibility here to play knight on e7 with with the fork on the king and the rook uh, multiple ideas here you see this dark square problems around uh black's king although uh, he doesn't have the queen but the black's queen is really paralyzed here uh very 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 strong play by boris gelfand i really like this game so here king on f8 now bishop on e3 improvement of the position of the bishop now we want to play it maybe on g5 or h6 so we have, we have here knight on g7 and now uh knight uh, bishop on g5 uh with uh, uh, with with an attack on the queen so this is the position in uh, which yobaba resigned because if you play something like queen to e8 you see there's only one square for the queen the funny position is here that the queen has only one square to play so here after maybe queen on e8 you get knight on f6 again with an attack on the queen the queen has to go here on d8 and then you get maybe knight on h7 uh, with an with a check and of course the discovered attack on the queen so of course uh, in this position after bishop on g5 uh, uh, Baduria Baba resigned and uh, of course this this was this immortal game by Boris Gerfand uh, okay v v uh, Boris Gerfand you see he is uh, really really a strong player and uh, he uh, is not uh, he, he, uh, he's been the world championship challenger of course and uh, we all know why now because uh, this this game is was really something uh, sacrificing a queen in that position that was really a brave decision and uh, he really calmed uh, Baduria Bala with this uh, queen on c2 move he really uh, after that 
the 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 attack by by black splashed a little bit and uh, he hadn't uh, any ideas in the game then after that so i hope you enjoyed this video uh, meanwhile of course you can watch uh, my other best chess games of all time videos and of course you can also watch my chess tactics uh, if you want to play it uh, tactically like uh, boris gelfand and of course guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks you for watching and chess is the best